Hey my BB pandas, it is me. I just wanted to wish you guys a great New Year's and I hope your holidays went well. As promised, this is my huge epic end of 2013 haul. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys next year. And also, if you want to keep in contact with me, I do have Twitter and Facebook. Just look at the links down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye, love you pandas. Mwah. Alright guys, this haul is a combination of presents, Boxing Week sales, as well as stuff I haven't shown you guys. So let us begin! Holy shit! As you can see, I do have a lot of things. I will go through them one-on-one. -on -one. This is just a scan through of everything above. Oh my lord. Anyways, let's start, babies. Alright, so I'm starting at the top of my pile. As you can see, I have 4 to 6, 7 to 9, 10 to 12 of Dance with the Vampire Bund or Bund. I've collected 1 to 3 already, so I'm super happy that I have the rest of the Omnibus collection that came out. These books are really huge, and I'll show you how big they are. Oops. So this is how they look like. And I'm really excited to have this on my shelves because it's very smexy. Usually I don't like Omnibus just because I'm scared to break the spine and also it's very heavy. But in this situation, it's very smex. So I'm super happy that I got this collection. And also I got an amazing deal on most of the manga that you are seeing today. And also, like I said, some of it is also presents as well. So here is 4 to 6, 7 to 9, 10 to 12. Next, I picked up Zero's Familiar. I always was eyeing this book or this manga every time I was in the comic book store, so I'm happy that I decided to pick it up. And of course, the deal was amazing, so I could not pass it up. Um, I haven't read it yet, and I don't really know, uh, know much about it, but I know there should be an anime on it. So if you guys are either reading the manga or watch the anime, let me know what your opinion is on this series. But I did pick up 1 to 3 and 4 to 5 in omnibus form. So I'm happy that I picked it up and also excited to see what it's about. Next up, I picked up Kisses, Size, and Cherry Blossom Pink. If you guys haven't known already, I'm a huge Yuri fan, so I'm excited that there are some titles coming into North America um, that is Yuri. So this author also did the Girlfriend series, which is also in omnibus form. So if you guys are interested in any Yuri, I would say pick up Girlfriends as well as this book right here. And this is how this book looks like. Also omnibus, very cute. And here I have, I don't have many friends, Haganai, and <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. I always feel like I'm not. i probably not. But I picked up number one last Boxing Week sale, so now I have two, three, and four. And if, of course, if you guys are reading any of the manga or anything that you see today, please let me know your opinions and what you think on them and if it's worth to collect. So I got those three, two, three, and four. Alright, so the next manga series that I started to collect is Triage X. So I bought one, two, three, and four. I'm super excited to read this. Um, I think the same person also was involved with High School of the Dead. And I really, really enjoyed that anime series. So here it is. One, two, three, and four. I'm just showing you how the backs look like. So I can't wait to read this. And if you guys are reading this already, please let me know your opinions. One, two, three, and four. Next up, I have the Haruhi manga. Now, this came from the anime flea market sale that I went to. So, I got three, four, five, and six, and I got them for an awesome deal. Um, so, I'm super excited that I have some of it. I know that this series runs very long. So, right now, I still have up to six only. And next up, I had to purchase My Little Sister Can't Be This Cute. I purchased number three and four. I do have one and two. Um, I'm going to be collecting this for as long as it goes. I'm not sure how much manga will come out with it. But regardless, I do enjoy the series. I did purchase the anime. I love it that much. And I can't wait to watch second season. I know it already came out. So can't wait to see that. But here is number three and four. 
And of course, I finally picked up My Girlfriend's a Geek. I did have two, three, four, and five, but the comic book shop didn't have number one. So I got this off of Amazon. So finally, this series is completed. Can't wait to read it. I heard a lot about it. And I just like the fact that it's different than most. So I'm super excited to see what it's about. Alright, so here is just the overview of everything I just showed you guys of this part. Alright, moving on to the next part. Alright, so we're at the next part of the manga haul. So I have Claymore, number 2223, Genshikin, second season, books 2 and 3, and I'm so happy they decided to come out with more manga for Genshikin. I've always been a huge Genshikin fan. I collected uh, the first manga series that they came out with, and I love it, so can't wait to get into reading this. And of course, I had to collect my Sailor Moon series, so I picked up 10, 11, and 12, as well as the Sailor Moon short stories. I do have number two. I don't have number one yet, because unfortunately, the comic book store didn't have it. So I do plan on picking that up in the future. So, so far, I have to pick up number one of the short stories, and I think I'm up to date with all the volumes for Sailor Moon. And I just really love the art and it just brings back so much memories from my childhood like this is so beautiful look at volume 12 gorgeous and i think i saw how volume one of short stories look like and it was really cute so i can't wait to get that hopefully they will get it in so here's 10 11 12 and short story volume two all right so here is the next manga that i decided to pick up as you can see, it says volume zero. So I do have number one. So I'm I'm hoping that this is the before volume one. Um, if you guys are collecting this series, let me know. I am totally not going to pronounce the title because I know I'm going to fail at it. So here is volume zero. And I've started to collect uh, Shanna, the manga series. So I have number five. I know these are really hard to get. So my manga volumes are kind of scattered. So as far as I know, I do have number one, four, and five. And of course, to continue, I do have Vampire Knight number 17, and then Yotsuba number 12, finally. So those are the four manga volumes that are by themselves. And here's the overview of what I just showed you guys. So beautiful! There you go. All right, and then next up we have the full color edition omnibus version of High School of the Dead Part 2. I do have Part 1, and if you are a huge High School of the Dead fan, I suggest collecting this. It's beautiful, the color, the art, everything, it's amazing. They pretty much gathered the manga and put them in this huge hardcover copy and put it in color. And just the artwork on the book itself is gorgeous. So here is Part 2. And moving down here, here's the comic books I collected. And of course, as you can see, it is Harley Quinn. So we have Harley Quinn from New 52, number one. And I think this is from the Batman Detective series. I'm kind of confused about what just happened here, but here's number one. And then they did Harley Quinn zero. And then Harley Quinn number one. So I'm assuming that these are the Harley Quinn series that will strictly just be Harley Quinn. And I have a feeling this is attached to something. I'm not sure. So here it is close up. And look at Batman. Oh, jeez. But there's Harley Quinn. Honestly, to be real, real talk, I kind of don't like how she looks like in this book. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just used to the 92 animated series and how she looks so this to me is kind of a change i really like the classic look but i know they had to modernize how she looks i mean it's okay but nothing will ever beat the original so we'll just see how this series goes and of course i do i did collect the original harley quinn comic books which she is wearing her classic costume so i'm happy i have that at least but it's interesting to see what they will do with her character so here is the overview of the smacks. All right, so next up will be the randoms and figures part of this haul. So as you can see, I finally got my hands on Yotsuba 
figure and just letting you know all these figures were 30 percent off which is super amazing so pretty much it was 39 39.99 um uh, minus 30 percent so i finally got me the yotsuba and i really really like how she looks like and super excited so this is her box and this is her look how cute and next we have Don Board. So cute. Love Don Board. Every time I see a Don Board at Anime North, I just have to go up to it and get a picture or video. Just super adorable. And of course, this was also 30% off. So this is how Don Board looks like. So these two. Yotsuba and Don Board. And of course, next up, I have Harley Quinn with the Pop Heroes series. I had to pick her up. It's just a given. So here is Harley and all of her glory. And of course, as you can see, there is Superboy, Batman Beyond, Harley Quinn, Dark, Dark, what's his name? Dark Seed. This dude, I have no idea. Nightwing. And then there's another Harley Quinn, but this time she has. A hammer and also the way her face look is different so hopefully I will pick her up as well because I have to collect everything Harley and just to complete the Harley pop heroes collection so I'm gonna keep my eye out on the one with the hammer and one of my favorite purchases from Boxing Week is this Sailor Moon figure. This figure was also 30% off. I purchased her along with Yotsuba and Don Board. Uh, they did have a Sailor Mercury. I was so tempted to buy her, but my wallet would have cried even harder. So I had to let it go for now, and hopefully I will pick it up next Boxing Week or whenever there's an amazing sale again. So this was 30% off, and here she is. She's so gorgeous. I'm so happy I got Sailor Moon. Sailor Mercury did look really pretty, so I I do plan on getting her, and I'm hope like hopefully of course uh, they ca they come out with more of the Sailor Scouts characters, which I know they will. So right now I have Sailor Moon, and here I'm just showing you guys the box. Super amazing. I'm really happy they're bringing back Sailor Moon. It makes me happy. So here's the Sailor Moon figure, 30% off of that price. And next part that I will be showing you is just stuff that I purchased randomly and also from the anime flea market. So as you can see, I have Oogie Boogie in plushy form. Look how cute. Mm. I had to get it. It was from Hot Topic. And I think the deal was buy one, get one half off. So I got this one for only $7.50 because I purchased something else. So there is Oogie Boogie. And then I have random pins over here on the side. This is Ariel in Rockabilly. Rockabilly form? I think that's how you say it. Not sure if you guys can see it, but it's like a pin-up version of Ariel, Little Mermaid. Kingdom Hearts. And then I have Louise and the Panda Mirror, which is awesome. I got from Anime Flea Market. And, of course, here's more from the Anime Flea Market. I got a uh, Totoro, cute Totoro pen holder or you could just put random stuff in here and a cute keychain and lastly which I will be wearing this in Anime North I got this cute necklace with a bell on it can't wait to rock this in Anime North hopefully it's not too hot because these like wearing cosplay during hot weather plus me don't mix so hopefully it won't be too hot but I really can't wait to wear this it's so cute and it goes it goes like that you can't go wrong look at that that's so cute so here are the random section of my haul and figures so this is the overview of everything all right guys so that's the end of my haul thank you guys so much for watching i hope everyone has an awesome 2014 i will see you guys more in the new year and love you pandas see you soon and if you want more contact with me and random stuff that i don't post on youtube you could add me on facebook or twitter i will leave the links in the section below love you pandas bye